At first glance, the idea of running an engine on air seems like a fiction. Actually, it is a fantastic idea to use air as an aid for running a vehicle. The automobile sector is undergoing a quick transition with the rise of compressed air engines being among the most interesting advancements. This innovative technology has the ability to alter our perception of car engines. This engine is gaining attention due to its eco-friendly nature as it can operate solely on air. However, what precisely is this technology and how might it affect the auto industry? A compressed air engine is a type of engine that uses compressed air for power instead of electricity or gasoline. In this system, air is stored in a tank and then released to drive a pneumatic motor, which generates the mechanical energy needed to propel the vehicle. The tanks hold compressed air at a pressure of about 4,300 psi. The engine sucks air from the surrounding environment into the air tanks and compresses it initially to roughly 300 psi using a piston. The air is then kept at a low pressure of about 140 psi in an expansion chamber after just a small part of it has been discharged. The air compression and expansion chambers are finally connected by a high-speed shutter just before the exhaust cylinder valve opens. The shockwave produced by the pressure difference between the two chambers transfers energy to the exhaust cylinder, which powers a piston and moves the vehicle. Since the engine operates using both warm and cold air, it can be built from lighter, less expensive materials like thermoplastics and fiber-reinforced thermoplastics. This not only reduces the cost of manufacturing the vehicles, but also makes them more efficient. Inventors and air car promoters like General Hermann Haupt created the first air engines experimentally in the 1880s and 1890s. A petroleum shortage in the 1970s sparked interest in air cars. Following that, Terry Miller created a four-stage expansion air vehicle engine in 1979, but the technology hasn't developed to the point where it can rival conventional engines until today. The Makarsky system was the first compressed air engine to operate successfully. Air expanded into one piston of this single-stage engine before being exhausted. The air was bubbled through a hot water tank to reheat it just before it entered the engine, increasing the vehicle's range. Why is the world in need of compressed air engine cars? In the present scenario, the blind race toward industrialization and modernization has resulted in several dangerous threats which can destroy mankind, and global warming is one of them. The greenhouse gases released from emissions of conventional engines with internal combustion are one of the main causes of global warming. In addition to causing pollution, the growing demand for fossil fuels and their limited supply are harming the economies of many nations, particularly those where fossil fuels are rare. This scenario has naturally caused research to shift toward more affordably and environmentally friendly transportation choices, compressed air power being one of them. These engines are an innovative form of automobile motors. Its main benefit is that it is less harmful to the environment than gasoline-powered vehicles because it doesn't burn fuel and emits no pollution from the tailpipe. Moreover, compressed air engines are inexpensive because they don't require expensive fossil fuels, which cuts down on driving expenses. They are simpler to operate, they require less maintenance and repairs because they have fewer parts. Because of its similar construction to conventional internal combustion engines, these motors are easy to fit. They operate smoothly and noiselessly. These engines also eliminate the need for cooling and fuel injection or spark plug systems, and they have no longer service intervals than conventional IC engines. Most importantly, because exhaust air is cooler than ambient air, it helps to cool the surrounding area. In an effort to make these engines a practical choice for customers, a number of businesses are leading the way in their development. The world-famous car manufacturer company Peugeot announced in January 2013 that it had created an air-powered vehicle. In March, at the Geneva Motor Show, it revealed the hybrid air vehicle to the public and said it would enter into production by 2016. The car did not solely run on air, of course. The new technology was twinned with a petrol engine. Peugeot, however, thought it had a number of benefits over electric hybrids with batteries, such as a Toyota Prius. In addition to being less expensive to purchase, their cars would get about 81 miles per gallon of fuel economy. One more benefit that Peugeot's new cars 2008s have over existing hybrids is that they don't need an expensive lithium-ion battery or electric motor, which means that their starting price will be approximately $22,279 compared to a Prius that is nearly $6,553 less. 
The Indian automaker Tata plans to introduce a compressed air powered vehicle, an idea that has been discussed for years but has proven hard to put into effect on a commercial basis. With technology licensed from Luxembourg's Motor Development International, the AirPod is a lightweight, supposedly one seater vehicle with a top speed of 45 to 70 kilometers per hour. Instead of running on gas or electricity, however, the engine is powered by a tank of compressed air, which can either be pumped in through a charging station or taken in while driving with the help of an electric engine. Like modern hybrid cars, the car can also store some energy during braking. Despite years of development, MDI signed a licensing arrangement with Tata in early 2007 and presented a concept car in late 2011. After the engine concept was successfully tested in two Tata automobiles in May, Tata and MDI were able to move on to the next stage of their project, finding out how to really make a product that could be sold. Though nothing else has been revealed thus far, it is intended to be developed over the coming years. The prototype car named Kurin, designed by Toyota Motors and resembles a steampunk vehicle, is powered entirely by compressed air. During a test drive at the Japan Automobile Research Institute on September 9th, the vehicle reached a speed that Toyota planned to submit an application for the Guinness World Record for the fastest car powered by compressed air. Similar to how steam drives pistons in a steam engine, the expansion of the air propels the vehicle forward. The vehicle's compressed air fuel, which is stored in a tank at the trunk, allows it to reach top speeds of 129.2 kilometers per hour. These engines may provide an even greener option to electric vehicles, which have begun the green car revolution. For refueling, compressed air engines only need to fill up the air tank, unlike EVs that need lengthy charging times and batteries. Emissions are the primary difference between cars that run on gasoline and those that use compressed air. Gasoline engines release harmful green gases and compressed air engines, on the other hand, produce no pollutants, making them a far cleaner choice. Undoubtedly, compressed air has a lot of advantages, but it also has drawbacks. Energy is wasted and the carbon footprint is increased by compressed air leaks. Appropriate use and proper maintenance can help prevent them. According to the Carbon Trust, a 3mm hole in a compressed air system may cost over $1,300 in wasted energy annually. Thus, keeping a high-quality test and repair kit on hand for fixing problems can save a lot of money. Large and strong air tanks are necessary for compressed air engines to store the high-pressure air needed for operation. Due to this, the car's interior space and driving range may be reduced. Energy density is a primary barrier for compressed air engines. While gasoline stores a large amount of energy in a small volume, compressed air does not. This indicates that, in comparison to cars that run on gasoline, compressed air engines have a shorter range. To increase energy density and range, new developments in air storage technologies such as stronger and lighter materials like turbocharger are being investigated. In order to provide easier options, hybrid systems that combine compressed air with other energy sources are also being explored. These engines appear to have a bright future ahead of them. Many experts believe they could play a big role in the market for vehicles that are more sustainable. The problems with standard gasoline and electric automobiles may be solved by compressed air engines, which are a potential option for consumers and automakers. If you liked this video, hit the subscribe button to get in the loop with the top-notch latest content.